This is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. If you are running Windows 11 and you have not been auto-upgraded to Windows 11 24H2, do not upgrade at this time. I am recording this video on February 12th, 2025, and Windows 11 24H2 is a mess. It's a mess if you currently game. It's a mess if you do any database work in Microsoft Access and it's a mess in a bunch of other applications. So what I suggest is that you wait and you stay on Windows 11 23H2 until Microsoft has had time to work out and fix all the bugs in 24H2. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to block your Windows 11 from automatically upgrading to 24H2. The first thing you wanna do is on your Windows 11 system is you wanna hit the Windows key and the letter I. And what we're going to do is we're going to check to see what version of Windows 11 you are currently running. So you're going to click on System. You're going to scroll down to About, and you're going to click on About. And right here, it's going to show you what version of Windows 11 you are currently running. On this machine, I am running Windows 11 23H2. Last week, I let it auto-upgrade to 24H2, and that was a mistake. I had nothing but trouble, so I rolled it back. So if it says that you are currently running 24H2 here, you can go to the recovery section under settings and you can roll it back to the previous version as long as it has not been longer than 10 days since it automatically upgraded to 24H2. If you are still on 23H2, then this is what I recommend that you do. You're going to go to this website. It's grc.com slash in control. And this is a world-famous website. It's been run for decades by Steve Gibson of Gibson Research Corporation. And he has a bunch of great utilities on this website. He has Spinrite, which is a utility that you can actually buy. But this utility is great because if you have a failing hard drive or you just want to check on the health of your hard drive, this is a great utility that does that. And he has all other sorts of great freeware and services on this website. He has things that will check your firewall. He has things that will check to see if your computer is leaking any information. He has things that will check to see if you have any open ports on your computer. He has all sorts of great utilities. So I recommend definitely going to his website and checking out his other free utilities also. But for the sake of this video, what we are going to concentrate on is in control. And in control is a totally free, safe piece of software to download. So what you're gonna do is click download now. And once you click download now, it's gonna download to your downloads folder. You'll probably want to drag it out to your desktop, or you can also just run it from your downloads folder, whatever is easiest for you to do. And once you're ready and downloaded the software, go ahead and double click the icon. Windows is going to verify that you want to make changes to your device and you want to allow this piece of software. Go ahead and click yes. And this is the software and it's very, very simple to use. Right now it's telling me that OS upgrades are not under my control on this system. And what that means is Microsoft can update me anytime to Windows 11, 24H2, 25H2, et cetera, et cetera. Now, one thing to remember is if you take control of your system and you tell it that you do no longer want feature, Microsoft calls them feature updates, such as 24H2, you will still get security updates. You will be safe. Windows will still be updated. You'll still be protected from whatever exploits Microsoft fixes. So this is not completely stopping Windows updates from occurring. This is only stopping the feature updates, which are the newer versions of Windows 11 that contain new features. So as you can see here, I am still on version 11, release 23H2. So what that means is, since I have not given this software the ability to block any feature updates, when 24H2 is ready to install again, it's going to install. And I don't want that happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to click Take Control. And right now it says you are in control of OS upgrades on this system. So that means when Microsoft tries to push 24H2 to me or 25H1, 25H2, or whatever the future versions are going to be called, the feature releases, my system will not automatically download these upgrades. I will still get security updates. I'm still going to be protected, but I will not get these major Windows 11 upgrades until I am ready to release control. And once I do that, then Windows Update will automatically update me to the latest feature update. But until I know that those are ready for me to use and they're not going to be very bug prone, I am going to take control of my system 
and stop Microsoft from automatically upgrading me to these buggy updates. Once again, this is Sean from Be Your Own Nerd. You can visit me at beyourownnerd.com. I also have a free weekly tech newsletter that I send out every Tuesday. It's totally free. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great tech day.